Look at that. Guys, this is what I was talking about. Look at his life. We've been in this video for over 20 minutes now. Look at my life. You saw my damage I did. I was so surprised to not die there. Look at my life. I'm just dashing away. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely, I look, I'm about to get into war now. I'm actually terrified. How's it going guys? We're back once again. War Long Fallen Dynasty. This mission, you fight seven bosses back to back and it's so difficult. I finally got it done guys. So in the video today, we're gonna go over the footage of me completing it and analyze it and explain to you what I did and why I did it. I believe I completed this mission at level 185. I need to double check it. I don't think I checked it in this recording unfortunately, but I was around level 185 when I completed it. So yeah man, let's get into it and analyze it. Cool, we're jumping right in there guys. As you can see, I have a lot of like, I call it Amrita regardless of the game. I'm, just, I'm used to calling it from Neo, innit? But I don't, I wasn't leveling up in between each match because I was so dedicated to getting it complete that I didn't give a damn about nothing kills. The first thing you notice is the elements. I believe I said this in my last video. Beishi is weak to fire and ice. So my base, my um, build is very much based around the elements. So no matter what weapon I'm using, I'll have all four elements in my shortcut list. That way I can use whatever element my enemy is weak to. But in this game, whenever an enemy gets a full thing on them, you'll see it now, when I put ice back on, when they put the full status effect on them, they stagger. Like you see here, so they stagger right there. In that situation, if she was to be attacking me, her attack will get cancelled basically. So I love using elements for that reason. And of course, the special effects like the fire makes her life go down little by little, even when I'm not attacking her. And in the ice, I believe there's 25% more damage for critical attacks. So it's just a nice way to go in it. Like at this point, I've done it so many times that Beishi was never killing me. Let's be serious now, like, nice and easy. Again, you can see on the side, it's coming up with my items that I'm collecting are red. Because unfortunately, I kept forgetting to empty my inventory before going back in. So I'm basically missing out on all these items now. All of them. We yeah, second boss here. Once again, I got the ice on. You saw me trying to quickly just get the status effect on him. Got it on me. Boom. The next is the lightning. So Zhao Dun, he's weak to lightning and ice. And lightning, if any enemy is weak to lightning, make sure you put it on them because it makes their stamina break a lot faster. As you can see, stamina goes down even when I'm not doing anything. So when you're attacking them, it's going down like just that, that much faster. Back, put the ice back on, I should. Lovely. Also guys, you probably noticed I do that quite a lot. Don't wait the opportunity to attack your opponent when their guard is broken. Because you have a bit of time to attack them before you use your critical attack on them. I always make sure to get as much damage as I can in. That's usually when I'll try and go for the element effect, depending on who the boss is. I've done all these attacks I've seen so many times that it's not going to affect me. Put the ice back on. Beautiful. And right there, just a little bit left there's effect. So I can just put that back on him. Also, something I'm not really talking about because I'm not really getting hit like that at the moment. But I also have the item on or the spell on that allows me to take one free hit of damage. That's also part of the build. I get one free hit of damage. And then lastly, my guardian spirit, as long as it's filled up, if I die, I get brought back to life. So as you can see, there's a lot of things in play to make sure that I don't get killed in a silly way. Because this game, at this point in the game, this is the currently the hardest iteration. The recommended level 300. I'm level 185 at this point. So anything you can do to win, take those advantages, guys. Take them. Now, luckily for me, I got to a stage where I'm good enough where I don't need to heavily rely on these things. Because whether or not they're on, I'll complete this mission. But it's nice to have like that bit of security in the back, you know what I mean? Like, I can't remember whether or not I need to use the Guardian Spirit during this um, playthrough or not. I cannot remember if I get killed or not. But I guess we're going to find out together. Boom, they does a double one. One, two. Lovely. That's it. Put the ice on. Okay, I didn't need to. But the ice is on him now. Lightning next. I know myself too well. Now I'm going to try and get this um, status effect on him as fast as I can. Can 
I didn't have enough time. I really tried it there. That was really risky of me. Nice and easy lightning on. Okay, put ice on instead. We should be dead now anyway. Couple more attacks, he's out of there. Lovely stuff. Next, look at all the items I didn't get to get. Even that plus six item right there, damn. All right, cool, blindfolded boy. When I first was doing this mission, I hated blindfolded boy and Lil Bay the most because they'll just do too much. But now, they're both my favorite to fight. As you can see here, like, I really be in this guy's face. Like, I actually don't waste time with this guy anymore. I try and attack him as fast as I can, get the status effects on him as fast as I can. Put the fire back on, boom, that's on him already. Usually I'll start with the lightning. Because once he gets his stamina broken, I can put other elements on him. That like right here. Oh, oh, this guy. Dodge, dodge. Lightning on. Lovely stuff. And then, this is lovely. Because Blind for the Boy is weak to everything. One thing about poison is, as long as the status effects of poison is on them, all the other status effects will stay up until the poison one is finished. So you'll see here that... If I'm able to get that poison on him fully before the lightning finishes, the lightning will go all the way back up to full. And that stacks. So if I had fire, water and lightning on him, okay, I'm gonna put poison first. If I had all three of those on him, none of those three will go down until the poison is completely finished. And that's very, very, very like, it's very effective. Lovely, I love when he does this, I can get him out of it. The next ice. I don't want to waste my time. Now I want to show you what I was talking about with the poison. So as you see, the poison is about to run out now. Now the electricity and fire is going down. So now, if I put it back, all goes back to full just like that. All goes back to full. And now he has all four elements on him. Lovely stuff. He can take some of them off, but for the most part, he doesn't usually do that. Okay, I think he already done it. He took off the ice already, but... It's just the ice. The ice is that the least important one of the bunch. Let me just keep, be honest with you. When the poison and fire is on, lovely, because they're taking double damage from both of them. And then they're usually getting rid of their stamina, of course. Put the ice back on. Am I going to? No, I don't think I do. Hey, I was just trying to keep, keep, keep the poison on for as long as I could. I noticed how I haven't used a single heal yet. So that's very, very good. Now, this is a great start. He tried to get me there, but not today, bro. Okay, now I put the ice on him. Now I'm gonna put the, the, um, the poison back on him, if I'm correct. Lovely stuff. Now all three of them will go back to full. It's too easy, guys, man. It's just too easy. Boom. I was really hoping to kill him there before he got down, but fortunately that's not the way it went. Next interaction should be dead. Lovely stuff. And that blindfolded boy done. The next boss, Lil Bay. This guy right here. I'm even gonna pause it real quick. I wanna make one thing clear. With the fists, your stamina goes up past the maximum amount. And you can get two extra bars of stamina. So what I like, like to do when I'm going into the Lil Bay fight is I try to overly max it out. So I don't go for the critical attack or something. I'll just keep attacking him, get it up as much as I can, so that when Lil Bay comes out, because at the moment, all these spells I'm using, I don't have the morale to use them, so it puts me in my burnout stage. So by putting it over the recommended amount, when I now put the fire and the armor on me for Lil Bay, I won't be one hit away from getting my guard broken, basically. But yeah, you'll see it coming in now. So I put the armor on myself already, I believe. Now I'll put an element on myself. Because Lil Bay, he takes elemental damage so fast. Like, but he does bear damage. That's the problem with him. He does so much damage, guys. Now, when I first done this mission, I legit thought he was the hardest boss here. But then look. Pretty much one interaction, and he's nearly all the way full. And he's weak to fire, poison, and ice. Funny enough, he's weak to everything. But for the most part, I don't put lightning on him. I don't put poison and I put poison on fire. 
because with the lightning thing I find it a bit weird even though he's still weak to it not entirely weak but it does affect him but I'd rather just do what I know the other tip I can give you for Lil Bay is I love when he does that whenever he flies around UG goes for this visible attack after but the best tip for Lil Bay is when you want to parry him don't multi-tap the circle button just press it one time I promise you it will work guys just press it one time when you see him coming towards you See, that's me. I, I double pressed it there. But this situation right here, press it once. I double pressed it there again because I got scared. But then usually, just press it once. As you can see, once the elements are on him, I just stay away from him, give him space, and then wait for it to be my turn to attack again. Cool. And because he can pretty much kill me in one hit, like really and truly. So in this situation, it would be when the thing will bring me back to life. If it got a peak like that, you know what I mean? Alright, lovely. And this I went for lightning. I went for it. Okay, I went for it there. I, I don't remember doing that. I think this is when I figured out that it works. This is when I figured out that it works against him. But yeah, lovely. Cool. Let's take your time guys. When you're against him, take your time. But that's the way that would have killed me. If that slice got me, I would be dead guys. And then I'll have to get more back to life with that thing. Lovely, just be the end of him. Nah, what do I mean the end of him? That was a dirty life. I hope I get a poison on him. Nah. There's no point even trying. You gonna throw them at me? Yep, all three of them. Getting out of that unscathed is really, really hard. Boom, 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 boom. Should be dead here. Oh, I flopped. Okay, now he's definitely dead. I love when he does that move. Lovely stuff. Once again, you saw me, guys. I started attacking him straight away. I didn't go for the triangle attack. But I wanted to keep some of my extra stamina so I can put the shield on without going into burnout mode. This is Zhang Liao, Zhang Liao I believe, yeah. This is another fight that, um, it's not that difficult, but you have to be very patient here, guys. I will say that, that the patience that's required here is ridiculous. He's weak to poison and ice. Not really weak, weak, but those are the two things that work against him. So, whenever I get the opportunity to, I put poison on him and ice on him. After that attack, I try and wait around him to see if he does the visceral attack or not. Is he gonna do it? Yep, he done it this time. I don't get too excited there because again, once you're caught in that barrage, I swear to you guys, you will die. That's why I try not to get too excited against Zhang Liao. Because he'll actually kill you. Now watch here. I could just do the most, but I'll run away instead. See? Look at me. I said I, I said I ran away, but I done the most. <laughs> I think I tried to put the ice on him there, that's why I was trying to attack him so much. Lovely stuff. I promise you guys, this guy killed me so many times for me just getting too excited. When I know I shouldn't be attacking. Like, okay, right here, I realized that once he doesn't have the lightning on him, he's actually susceptible to attacks. Like, he staggers quite a lot. Yeah, so look, usually all the lightning will be coming, but because he's had no lightning on him, you can literally just barrage him. And nothing can, there's nothing can really do except for the ritual attack randomly. Beautiful. See how easy that was. But now after this, we'll definitely put the lightning back on himself. And I have to start stepping back again. So right there. Lovely stuff. He might do doubles now. Cool. Once his life is below halfway, he'll go for double ritual attacks. So he might go for the spin followed by the thrust, or the thrust followed by the spin. It just has to be ready for both of them, to be honest. Lovely, good with a double this time. Nope, I'm working his guard. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's see if he does it this time. The double? Okay, still not the double. That was close. That nearly killed me, fam. 
Lovely. Thank you, God. Okay, worth a double this time. Luckily, I was ready for it. But that's the way he would do it. Like, you'd be thinking, oh, yeah, he, he, God is about to break. Let me quickly attack him. Then he'll just whip that attack out. Then you will die. And you think to yourself, why did I do that? That's exactly how this game gets you every single time. Lovely stuff. One, you can go for double again. Nope, not this time. You can see how long this is, guys. Imagine making it this far and dying. I done a live stream a couple of times of me doing this mission, and I went to Lubu twice, which is the last boss, and he killed me. I just stopped playing both times. Double or just one? Still just one. This guy's being stuck with those attacks, man. I love it when you go for a double because it allows me to get stamina up as fast as I can. Because I know I'm going to parry it. No, thank you, buddy. No, thank you, brother. That got me as well. Damn, I took damage there. Also, guys, notice how I still haven't used a single heal. Not a single heal has been used. And my life is full. Obviously, my life is full only because I get health back from attacking my opponents. The reason I haven't spoken about that much is because, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what I put on my build to get that. I'm sure it just get health back, but I haven't done research into that properly. So I can't give you proper advice on it yet. And now you know she does have lightning on himself again, so this is why I'm going to barrage him and end their hair. And towards the end, I should just start attacking just because I don't want to get my thumb up as much as I can. Lovely stuff. Beautiful stuff. Again, I'm in the overload of having stamina, so I can put those things on without any worries. Next is Hong Jing, the easiest boss of this whole gauntlet. Like, she can actually barrage her. The problem with her is, though, she'll randomly use this attack here, and that attack will one touch you. Randomly, she'll just whip that out. But she does so much damage. But look, look how much damage she takes away from her. Her stamina goes up quick. She's weak to every single element. Like, dying to Hong Jing is like, if you die to her, you're just not good at the game. Not to say I've never died to her before, but after making it this far, you really think I allow myself to die to her? Impossible. I genuinely feel like they give you this fight just to like give you a little break right before you get to Lu Bu. I'm not gonna lie, that right there I panicked. Because usually I don't let her have that much space from me. Because she does a lot of wizardry, innit? So I'm scared to give her any space at all. Because if she give, give her space, she will start working out the spells. And I don't want to know what she can do. Look how much life that done. That's the way I would have been finished. But yeah, I don't want to know how much damage she does, really and truly. So I don't give her no space. Alright, lovely. Okay, the final boss, guys. Lubu is weak to ice and lightning. You can get some poison on him. But I don't usually go for that because it takes too long. So straight off the bat, I can't put lightning on him straight away. It staggers him. Stop the transformation properly. Then I put the ice on next. Boom, staggers him. Then I get back. Okay, luck I got lucky here with this visual attack. But now I can put it straight into stun. Get some damage on him. As much damage as I can. What I do here is I run back. And then, okay, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, I get back. Because he always does the first attack. Once he goes into this form, okay, I think I have to put it on him. Did I? Yeah. He'll do the jump first attack at you. This one right here. And this one I'll go to put the, like, the element back on him. The reason I don't like being this close to him at any point is because those stomps will one touch me. His slices will one touch me. And I don't want to take that risk in it. Like, all these attacks here, I can parry them very easily. That's why I'll just keep my distance. All who do jump attack is very easy to parry as well. Once he's this close, I'll put my element on him again. Boom. Lightning next. Lovely stuff. I purposely didn't put it all the way on him, so that way I can now get the stagger on him now. So look, boom. Now I've got the stagger on him now. I've got his stamina up a bit more for the next round, where I'm going to run away again. He's going to do the thrust attack again. Now I'm going to put ice on him, or I'm going to try to. Look, this is why I hate being next to him. He'll be, he'll be bloody charging those attacks so much, having me terrified for my life. Lovely. The minute I get a chance, I'm going to put ice on him. Get back. He should do the first attack real soon. All this. Lovely. Again, I didn't put the ice all the way on him. So I can do it this time. Boom. Stagger. Before you transform, quickly get the lightning on him now. One more. Lovely. Now I'm going to run back again. 
Look at this guy. Oh, look at this. Look, this is where he tried to get you guys. This is where he tried to get you. Look at this. Your back is there at the wall, you will die. Lovely stuff. When you does this attack, it's nice and easy. Just parry it. One more. Lovely. Hit him. Break his guard. Get close to him. And let's do this properly. Okay, this time I pull it on all the way. Next is the ice. Get back. Put the shield on myself. All the way back, guys. You can't risk it. Now we'll do the first attack. That like, you generally can't risk it. In this game, you have to do what you know works. Otherwise, you'll just die and be pissed off. Look, I'm running away. I didn't even try to parry that. Look, at this point, I had to parry because I was pissed. I'm in the corner, guys. Look at my life. Look at my life. I nearly died here. This one I thought was done for me. Look at this. This way I'll just go wrong. Luckily, he done this attack, parry it nice and easily. Lightning, lovely stuff. I forgot to get the triangle attack on him. I'm sure at this point I thought I'd lost. I was convinced I'd lost. First attack. Quickly, before the attack comes out. Okay, lovely. Do I have to get the lightning on him? I don't think I do. So I'm gonna run away. Now look at this guy, look at this. I swear to you, any one of those taxis would have killed me. I swear on my life, on my life. Look at this. I ran, I was terrified. Him doing this attack, I was so happy done this, but it gave me time to breathe. That's not giving me no time to do nothing. Lovely. When his life goes below halfway, he'll hit it back an extra time. I don't know if this is that extra time or not, is it? Yes, it is. So he'll hit back that extra time, which can throw you off guard. I did get killed one time because I didn't know he hit it back an extra time when life gets below halfway. And I died to that. And I was very pissed, as you can imagine. If you look at this, at this point, I didn't have the shield on. Put the ice back on him, please. Make sure I don't flop it this time. Boom. And then put that lightning on him manually. This is the best position to be in right now, guys. Then the ice immediately after. The best position to be in. With life is this low, and you're getting lucky situations like this. Come on, man. You can't complain. Get back. Just run away, bro. Boom. 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 Frost attack, lovely. That, that move shouldn't be allowed, I swear down. Lovely, get back. Ice. Look at this. It's crazy to think that there was, n there was never a single point until we actually died where I thought to myself, oh, I've finally done it. Because he can actually kill you at any point. And the, the dumbest thing to do would be to get excited. Oh no, attack the guy! Oh, I got scared. I got scared. I could have attacked him right there. Three, four. What's he gonna do? Cross attack? Yeah. Put the ice on him if I can. Did I get excited? I said, of course I got excited. I knew I was gonna go for that there. I had to get the ice on him. Why am I flopping the parry now of all times? Yeah, this way it goes. We gotta do an extra time. Boom, one more. Run to him immediately and pop ice on him. Okay, nah. <laughs> I cancelled it in real time as well. I realized that time that was nowhere near enough. Lovely lightning next. I think at this point, maybe I got excited and thought to myself, this is the one. I know I'm going to put the landing on him now. We're going to get good. And now I'm going to run away again, like I said. First attack. Nice and routine. Look at that. Guys, this is what I was talking about. Look at his life. We've been in this video for over 20 minutes now. 
Look at my life. You saw my damage I did. I don't think this killed me, even though I don't know how this is meant to be any health at all. But this is the way the game just goes to shit at the worst possible moments. And I would have lost as a start again. I promise you guys, I've been to this situation before and lost. So look, I was so surprised to not die there. Look at my life. I'm just dashing away. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely... I look, I'm about to get into war now. I'm actually terrified. Luckily he done this attack. I saved my life. If he did not do that attack and just kept slicing me, I would have been pissed. I didn't know what to do there. You saw that, guys. I broke in his stamina. I ran away. And I think it's over here. Lovely. Lovely job. And unfortunately, I missed out on all those items again because my inventory is full. Oh, gosh. But there you go, guys, man. That's how I completed the Crouching Dragons. I think it could Fist, Royale, or something like that. As you can see, it wasn't easy at all. It took a long time. And, huh. I personally wouldn't recommend any of you guys to do this mission. But if you want to do it, this is how I did it, so hopefully it can help you. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give a thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate that very much. Subscribe to the channel for more content every single day. And have a great day, guys. Peace.